We're going to take a break from the grid for a little bit, and we're going to take a look at topography in Bootstrap. Now, one of the things that Bootstrap does very nicely, it will automatically select fonts and font sizes for you, depending on the device type that is being used to browse your web page. So that is very nice. So this is the default format that Bootstrap uses, and in this case, this is for the Chrome browser. And you can see here, it looks like we've got Helvetica fonts, and it does a very nice job. Now, I have the same exact page without Bootstrap, and I want you to take a look at the difference. Take a look at that. That doesn't look nearly as nice, does it? It's using the old New Times Roman. And so as you can see, Bootstrap automatically does a lot of the work for you in terms of the fonts and the sizes of the fonts. And you can see here the H1 heading is automatically in bold, and Bootstrap uses a font size of 36 pixels for the H1 heading. For the H2, the default is 30 pixels. And for the H3, the default is 24 pixels pixels. Now, even though Bootstrap handles a lot of the topography for you, there are some things you'll want to know. So let's go ahead and close this out, and let's take a look at some of the things you can do with topography in Bootstrap. Now, one of the nice things that Bootstrap allows you to do is to create a subheading off your main heading, and you use that with the small text. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll just copy and paste it right here because I already have it in my clipboard. So there you can see we use the small tag, and we close it out with the small tag, and this will create a nice little subheading. So let's go ahead and save this and let's open this up in Chrome and see what we get. And there you can see, look, we have this nice little subheading now that you can use. And you can see the text is a little bit lighter and it's a little bit smaller. Now you can also hide headings if you need to. So let's go ahead and hide a heading. So let's go here and we'll just copy and paste this and let's just call this H3 hide heading. So what we do is we go here and we're going to call another bootstrap class. And as you've seen throughout this series, a lot of this is just calling the correct bootstrap class that you want to use. And in this case, we want to use the text hide class. All right, so now hopefully this will be hidden. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see it's now hidden. Now you'll notice that the space is still there, but the heading itself has disappeared. So that's how the text hide class works. Now, what if you wanted your text to really stand out? You can do that with the lead class. So let's go ahead and we'll create a class here. And again, you call the lead class. So let's go ahead and save this and let's see what we get. And there you can see, this is all in bold now, and the size of the font is also increased. Now you can also use the span element with the lead class. So let's say we wanted to make these first three words here stand out. We can use the span element again with the lead class. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you probably know by now, we use the span tag. And then we can just go up here and copy and paste the lead class. And we'll just copy and paste it right down here. And then we'll go ahead and close this out. And we said we would span these first three words here, so let's go ahead and close out the span. And let's save this, and let's see what we get. And there you can see, now the first three words in this second paragraph stand out. So that's quite useful as well. Now by default, of course, the text in paragraphs aligns to the left, but you can switch that up using Bootstrap. So let's say we want all the text in this to align to the center. You can use that with the text center class. So let's go ahead and do that. And we just use the text center class again. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. And there you can see all the text now is aligned to the center. So just a little bit different way you can do things. Now you also can turn off word wrapping using Bootstrap as well. So let's say you didn't want the sentence here to wrap. You just wanted it to continue on going its merry way. You can use a Bootstrap class for that as well. And the class we use is text hyphen no wrap. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And there you can see the sentence is no longer wrapped. So this will just continue going as far as it needs to. So that's what the text no wrap class does. Now in this paragraph, of course, we centered the text, but you can also align it to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can just take this class right here and we'll just copy and paste this right down here. And instead of text hyphen center, we're going to use text hyphen right. And let's see what we get. There you can see the text is now aligned to the right. Now I have some other classes to show you, but you know what? Let's just work against this final paragraph. Now you can also capitalize all of the text in your paragraph if you want to. And for that, we use the text capitalize 
class. So let's see what we get here. And there you can see all the text is now capitalized in terms of the first letter of each word. Now you can also make all of the characters uppercase. And let's go ahead and see what we get. And now you can see all the characters are in uppercase. And you can make everything lowercase as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And now everything is in lowercase. Now I have one more thing to show you. You can actually quickly decrease the size of the text if you want using the small class. So let me show you that really quickly. And there you can see the text is now smaller. Okay, I know I packed a lot of information in there, but I hope you found this useful. Thanks as always for watching.